now let us discuss about construction of left linear grammar from the right linear grammar or convert right linear grammar to the left linear grammar so here right linear grammar is given now we have to convert this right linear grammar into the left linear grammar so what is right linear grammar in each production here if there is non terminal so that non terminal should be the rightmost symbol if we observe s implies b b here this b is the rightmost non terminal this is the rightmost non terminal this b is the rightmost non terminal so that's why this is called as right linear grammar so now we have to convert this grammar into the left linear grammar so for that we have to follow four steps so let us see that while solving the problem so the first step is construct finite automata construct finite automata so based on this right linear grammar we have to construct the finite automata here the starting symbol is s yes, so s yes will becomes the initial state so s yes is the initial state so arrow will be towards the initial state s yes on b will goes to the b s yes on b will goes to b next b on b will goes to c b on b will goes to c next b on a will goes to b so this is self loop next to c on a here there is uh, no state is given if no state is given then we have to assume it as the final state b c are over so let us assume that the next state is d so this d is the final state so we have to use double circles so c on a will goes to the final state next b on b will goes to the final state so this is the finite automata s on b means b b on b means b on b means c b on a means b c on a means final state b on b means final state okay so this is the first step constructing finite automata now let us see step 2 in step 2 we have to reverse the finite automata reversing the finite automata means we have to exchange initial state and final state we have to exchange initial state and final state and reverse the edges so what is step 2 step 2 is reverse the finite automata reversing the finite automata means exchange initial state and final state and reverse the edges here s is the initial state so d is the final state so exchange these two states now d will becomes the final state exchange these two states okay exchange these two states okay so now what will happen interchange interchange initial and final state exchange or we can write interchange also so in place of s yes, we will get d and in place of d we will get s yes. we will get s yes. so now what, what, what is happening interchange or exchange initial state and final state s yes is the initial state now s yes will becomes the final state here d is the final state now d will becomes the initial state initial state means arrow will be towards the initial state okay remaining states will be as it is so b c now we have to reverse the edges s to b we have an edge so now from b to from b to d we have an edge next this is self loop so there is no difference on self loop next b to d we have an edge so let us reverse that edge so b next b to c we have an edge so reverse this edge so on input symbol b next to c to d we have an edge so reverse the edge so this is a okay s to b means b to d b to this edge and b this is self loop next to b to c this edge is converted to c to b so b next to c to d is converted to s to c so a next to b to d is converted to d to this one s to b and input symbol b so second step is also over what is the second step interchange or exchange initial state and final state and reverse the edges now let us see step 3 step 3 is write right linear grammar here we can write right linear grammar from the finite automata directly okay so here what is the uh, let us write from uh, from d we, we don't have any transition so let us write from s yes. 
So, S implies we have two transitions. So, first one is BB, S implies, second one is AC. So, BB, AC. So, this is right linear grammar. Right linear grammar means in the right hand side, the rightmost symbol is always a non terminal. Okay. S implies BB, S implies AC. So, next one is C. So, C implies we have only one edge, C implies BB. C implies BB. Next, let us focus on B. So, from B, we have two edges. B implies AB. B implies AB. Next one is B implies BD. BD. So, from D, we don't have any edges. So, on S, S implies BB, AC. C implies BB, BB, C, C. So, only one edge. B implies AB. B implies BD. From D we don't have any transitions. Next step is write left linear grammar by reversing the right linear grammar. Here we have S implies BB. So we can write this as this we have to reverse this BB. So BB. Next S implies AC. So this can be written as S implies CA. C implies BB. This can be written as BB. Next B implies AB. This can be written as B implies BA. B implies BD. This can be written as B implies DB. So S implies BB, S implies CA, C implies BB, B implies B implies BA, B implies uh, AB is changed to BA. Next B, D, BD means it is changed to DB. If you observe all the productions, in the right hand side, what is the leftmost symbol? Leftmost one is non-terminal. So, this is the left linear grammar. So, totally we have to follow four steps in order to convert right linear grammar into the left linear grammar. That is for constructing left linear grammar. The first step is construct finite automata from the right linear grammar. From the right linear grammar, directly we can write the finite automata. Step 2 is reverse the finite automata. So, reversing the finite automata means we have to exchange initial state and final state and reverse the edges between the states. And step 3 is from the finite automata write the right linear grammar. From the finite automata we can write right linear grammar directly. And what is step 4? Write left linear grammar by reversing the right, product, right hand side production. So this uh, AC will become CA. So this is the left linear grammar. Okay. So this is about construction of left linear grammar from the right linear grammar.